So I've been with Christian Healthcare Ministries for over a year, my husband a little longer than that. And I always thought they were so great. I loved them so much. I referred quite a few of my family members to them and also some of my friends. Um, however, I recently, as in yesterday, <laughs> discovered something that is completely ridiculous and I'm actually quite shocked by it. Like a little, I find it a little unbelievable. Anyway, so like my husband and I have a difficult time getting pregnant. It took us two and a half years to get pregnant with our first and now we've been trying for over a year. So I've decided to see the fertility specialist because, well, I'm not a fresh spring chick anymore and so my time is ticking away. And so I scheduled an appointment with the fertility specialist and I'm really excited for that, like really excited. And I know that insurances and, you know, these health sharing groups, they don't cover the cost of, you know, infertility treatments or tests or any of that. And I was very aware of that. However, I just had the thought that I should email Christian Healthcare Ministries just to make sure that the pregnancy would be covered if I happened to get pregnant from a treatment. And um, their response was no. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm like, I can't even believe this. And I've been so frustrated and like bothered. Um, I know I just need to learn to control that. But like, ugh, my blood's been boiling since I got that email yesterday saying that that was the case. Like, I don't understand why a pregnancy isn't covered if it's from an infertility treatment. Because like, just because someone has to fork out thousands of dollars to get pregnant doesn't mean their pregnancy shouldn't be covered. So, um, I called them today just to confirm, you know, that that was the case. If there's any type of fertility treatment used and you get pregnant, Christian Healthcare Ministries will not share your maternity costs, any of them. Um, and she told me, I was told the worker that I just don't understand why that's the case, why the actual pregnancy can't be covered. I'm not asking for any of the treatments, any of the tests, just the pregnancy. And she said it's because it's higher risk. Well, I'm 34 years old. The youngest I can possibly be to have my next child is 35. Like I'm automatically put as a high risk um, pregnancy just because of my age. So like, it doesn't make sense. I mean, what are they gonna like rule out ages? That's a whole nother issue. It doesn't even matter. They're not gonna do that. Well, I don't know, they did this anyways. But I just wanna like tell everybody that I know about this, that if you are a person that needs to get any type of fertility treatment to get pregnant, Make sure you're not on Christian Healthcare Ministries because they won't share your pregnancy cost. And I have contacted Liberty Health Share and they told me that they will. If you, you know, any maternity cost, they'll cover maternity. And of course they don't cover any of the treatments, any of the tests, um, which like I said, that's pretty standard. That's most people do that, but they will cover maternity costs even if that pregnancy is the result of a fertility treatment. So I'm just trying to spread the word to everybody because I know I'm not the only one who's going to go to a fertility specialist. It's quite common these days to um, need some assistance. It, excuse me, and I don't know why, but it is. Sorry, see my voice? Do you see what it's doing? Because I've been so worked up. <sighs> I know, I just have to learn to control these emotions. Um, but anyways, yeah, I just want to let people know Liberty Health Chair seems like a really, really good option. And it's really not that much more expensive than Christian Healthcare Ministries. Uh, we were paying 385 with Christian Healthcare because we had um, myself and uh, my child on Christian Healthcare, well, our child, and then my husband was on the silver plan. However, with um, with Liberty Health Share, it would also it would be 450 a month, but that would put all of us like on their highest plan, which they cover up to one million dollars per incident. So that's like really exciting. And I also found out that with Liberty Health Share, they'll cover the well visits and vaccinations for a baby's first year of life, which Christian Healthcare didn't do that. And I wasn't too bothered. You know, we were paying 65 for all the visits. And then for the vaccines, I took her to the clinic and that, that worked pretty well, but um, definitely <laughs> this whole like pregnancy thing being not covered if it's from a fertility treatment, that's really bothersome. And I find quite disheartening considering that it's a Christian group and they, you know, advertise this great maternity program and, you know, that it's great that people want to have kids, but then if you need a help to have the kids, then they just kind of like, sorry, let's forget about you. So that was anyways, just really bothered. Obviously you can tell my emotion, but I just wanted to share with anyone out there who might be looking for differences or who might 
be, you know, seeking some type of health sharing program and might also need to see a fertility specialist. So just let everybody know. And I hope this helps somebody out. <laughs> I'm glad we that I at least found out about this two months before my appointment with a fertility specialist. Um, because otherwise, if we got pregnant with one and had all those costs, we would be what would they say? Up the creek. I'm going to sound like an old person. We'd be up the creek. Anyways, that is it. And I will talk to you later. Bye.